Cats are unique creatures, but they also tend to experience the same health issues over and over again. Feline upper respiratory infections are one of the most common problems we hear about in cats. So what if we told you there are ways to help prevent these infections from happening in the first place? In this episode of the Pet Care Pro Show, we have Helen joining us to talk about upper respiratory infections in cats. Now before we start, consider subscribing to the Revival Animal Health YouTube channel by clicking this little red heart or the subscribe button down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Okay, now let's talk upper respiratory infections in cats and the best ways to prevent these from reoccurring. Every species of animal has a weak spot and for a cat, it's respiratory problems. That is why most vaccines for cats protect against viruses that attack the respiratory tract. If left untreated, these respiratory infections can turn fatal. So what are the biggest causes of upper respiratory infections in cats? Feline herpes virus, also known as the feline viral rhinotracheitis is the number one issue in kittens and breeding queens. This virus attacks the eye and upper respiratory system. In breeding queens, it can even cause abortions. Right, but the tricky thing about herpes is it has an incubation period. So you may not know a cat is infected until it's already spread to other cats in the area. Exactly. Herpes has an incubation period of two to six days, sometimes even longer. If a cat is a carrier of herpes, she can shed the virus throughout her life. When the carrier cat is stressed, which often happens when a queen is giving birth, she can start shedding the virus and expose those newborn kittens to herpes. Right. Now, another cause of URIs in cats is Khaleesi virus. Tell us about that. Eye and nasal discharge and lots of sneezing are typical indications of Khaleesi virus. The incubation period for a Khaleesi virus is five days, but it sheds for at least 75 days after recovery. And like herpes, some cats can be carriers. And Khaleesi virus is very infectious. Yes, Khaleesi virus is a very infectious viral respiratory disease. Around 80 to 90% of all feline respiratory disease is due to the feline Khaleesi virus or the feline herpes virus. Mm -hmm. And finally, Bordetella is the third main cause of URIs, especially in young kittens and rescues where cats are housed together. Yes, Bordetella brassica septica is a bacterial issue and it can be fatal. It can pass back and forth from dogs to cats. In catteries and rescues where Bordetella has been diagnosed, early vaccination will help control the persistent URI issues. Once the vaccination is initiated, treatment costs are usually at a minimal and most pneumonia is prevented. Right, and you mentioned vaccination, which really is important when it comes to preventing upper respiratory infections. Yes, preventing URIs is most effective with vaccinations. The Novivac feline BB prevents the Bordetella in cats, while the Novivac feline 1 HCP vaccine helps prevent herpes and Khaleesi virus. Now, before we talk treatment options, including how to give nose drops, if you are finding this video helpful, click the like button below. Okay, now let's talk treatment. If your cat does get an upper respiratory infection, what should you do? Treatment of URIs in cats should include doxycycline because it penetrates mucus and can treat eye issues at the same time. In addition, Clavamox also works well as a treatment for URI, especially for kittens. Right, and doxycycline and Clavamox are both prescription items that we do carry. So if you get a prescription from your veterinarian, our pharmacy team can help you out with that. And now what about lysine? How can that help a cat with a URI? L-lysine will stop the herpes virus from reproducing and let the immune system remove it more easily. All cats can benefit from lysine, even if they're not sick. I recommend products such as the philolysine. It contains lysine and supports the immune system, eye health, and normal respiratory health. And in addition to lysine, nose drops given several times a day are also a great option. Yes, when giving nose drops, just drip it into the nose, let the cat inhale it, and then the cat will sneeze it back out. Sneezing is normal, then wipe the nose with a soft cloth or a paper towel. And then remember, a cat's sense of smell is very important. If they can't smell, they won't eat. Right. And we have more information on how to make those nose drops that Helen mentioned, along with a few other URI treatment options in the article, Cat Respiratory Disease. You can find that in the Learning Center on our website at revivalanimal.com. And we've also put a link to that article in the description below.
In addition to the treatment options we've already mentioned, when treating a URI, hydration is very important. Absolutely. Good nursing care is key. If a cat has a URI, they need to keep their energy and hydration up so the immune system can fight. Even slight dehydration or low energy can really lower the immune system's ability to fight. I recommend an electrolyte such as the Breeder's Edge Kitten Light. It maintains hydration, replenishes electrolytes, and it has a fast absorbing dextrose to help support energy production. Another tip, if a cat won't eat, try hand feeding the cat with all meat baby food or use Doc Roy's FortiCal liquid if needed to boost energy and add calories. Well, thank you so much, Helen, for sharing this information on cat respiratory issues. Now, if you found this advice helpful, make sure to share this video with other cat owners who you think could benefit. And if you have any other questions, comment below and we will get those answered. I'm Shelly with the Revival Education Team. This is Helen, a Revival Pet Care Pro. Thank you so much for joining us on this cat respiratory health episode of the Pet Care Pro Show. Hi, if you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our new videos. If you have more questions on URIs and cats or any other pet health issue, call our Pet Care Pros at this number or check out our other pet health videos.